Hello guys, welcome to your new uh, video series tutorial which is on basic web technologies and in this session, uh, I mean in this session we're going to take a look at uh, some coding tools and an introduction to uh, the series of videos so basically you will have to learn it uh, in three parts so basic web technologies that is HTML, PHP and much more and part two is a bit advanced uh, that is web technologies for mobile uh, with a collaboration with one of my colleagues known as Danny on out and part three is going to be advanced web technologies so I assume first of all you need to understand the basic web technologies and finally to be able to move on with web technologies for mobiles okay for uh, web technologies for mobile you will be using uh, most probably uh, a bit of Java or PHP if possible for creating your content around. Uh, basic web technologies we'll be taking a look about uh, introduction to basic HTML and uh, introduction to JavaScript and advanced JavaScript using validation of HTML forms and finally uh, you will take a look at PHP and Ajax uh, which are the two main content in web technologies you will be connecting to your databases you will be using query and also normalization of databases primary keys for inquiries will be required in this topic and finally Ajax which is asynchronous JavaScript and XML you will be learning around how to dynamically uh, change content of a page that is loading a page and displaying the result down in the same content of the page between a div tag and introduction to a specific coder so there are some simple coders like Notepad++, K4 uh, Linux that is uh, you have Kubuntu and Gedit you have for Ubuntu and uh, Cape I think it's much better due to indentation techniques etc and we have some WYSIWYG uh, application which are Dreamweaver okay so why not Dreamweaver for starters making the simple complicated sim Okay, is commonplace. Making the complicated simple, awesomely simple, that's creativity, according to Charles Mingus. Dreamweaver will never make one a good programmer. While coding, it eases programming by showing the programmer with required tags and also the color content. Just try to think which one is better programmer among these two. The number one student chooses color from a chart with Dreamweaver. Second one, which make a simple calculation using a uh, hexadecimal obviously you will say 2 is a better programmer because you know actually how to calculate the hexadecimal content how many R, how many B and how many G's that is the RBG colors so once you become a good programmer you can shift to Dreamweaver to make your websites more pleasant and obviously any content you're chasing it's WYSIWYG so what you see is what you get you're going to code and you're going to see what will be the content directly on the web page now, why Notepad++? Notepad++ has a great indentation technique. Like, for example, here we have a code for capturing response from uh, a specific AJAX function, okay, for checking the state and also the status of the response. So you have proper indentation done for you and for showing you around. Okay, well now again, why not Pat Plus Plus? Easily find your errors for PHP by jumping to the required number line. For this, I have a simple demonstration to show you. Let's say I remove a simple column here, semicolon, and let's go to Google Chrome. Let me connect to my server. HTTP column slash slash localhost slash error.php. When you actually wait a minute, huh? Let me check the content. Okay, you save this page. Uh as web basics right so just move to this content so web basics eroded PHP
right here we go so here the browser is actually recognizing it you're too good but if you just do an error any error let's say normally here it's Google Chrome so Google Chrome allow you even you have a semicolon mix missed it will just let you go but just put X anything you will see a parsing error generated on line 10 so actually you know that a T echo is something here right so line 10 is here you can jump around to two previous sign and two previous uh, two next line of the okay so this is error just remove this content just place a semicolon here you reload your page you're going to get your content easily right so this is about uh, notepad plus plus and why to use it now you can download notepad plus plus uh, I've already shown you the demonstration how to get the required error you go to the link which is here notepad plus plus I uh, think uh, must be here right so you will get this you download the current version and those, want, uh, those who want to run it on Linux uh, you have to download wine and then install notepad plus plus otherwise it's not required keep is almost the same as Notepad Plus Plus and it's very interesting to use Kit. But avoid using JEDIT because the indentation is very, 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 very poor. Now, this is about uh, Notepad Plus Plus screen and Notepad Plus Plus is actually a free source code editor and it's it has been coded using simple C plus plus and uh, one of the main pillars of it is it is trying to reduce the carbon dioxide emission when using less CPU power the PC can throttle down and reduce the power consumption resulting in a greener environment I know it may seem something really funny but it's true right if you try to calculate the power consumption being used by Dreamweaver you will see the amount of RAM being used whether it is a sys or res architecture uh, your computer is using you're going to see yeah it does make an effect in terms of power consumption now in the next session we're going to take a look at basic HTML for now take care and catch me in the next video